I was at a neighbor's house um, and her son came out and he's what, 14 years old. And he's like, Becky, Becky, give us a ride to the skate park. Tony Hawk is here. And I'm like, no, he is not. Looking back on that day, Becky Carlson is sure glad she listened to the advice of that 14-year-old boy. While on a family road trip, legendary skateboarder Tony Hawk made a quick pit stop in Livingston, Montana. But in the background of the children laughing, skating, and getting autographs from the best skateboarder in the history of the sport was a long-awaited moment for Becky. And he immediately came off of the bus and came up to me and I introduced myself to him and said, I met you two years ago. You signed a deck for my son who was named after you. Said sadly, he has since passed. And Tony immediately just looked at me and said, can I please hug you? And just put his arms around me and hugged me. In October of 2018, Becky's son, Tony Gadbury, lost his life to suicide. He was 13 years old. Teen suicide has long casted a dark cloud over the youth of the Livingston community. I don't want to go to any more funerals for children. I, I just don't. And I'm a, whatever I have to do to not do that, I will do. Realizing the gravity of what their encounter meant, Tony Hawk went above and beyond for Becky and her children, Sean, Liam, and Evelyn. The brief time together brought a much needed sense of healing into their lives that afternoon. Tony Hawk took the time out to meet my family and to embrace my family and i don't know that he'll ever realize the extent of what that meant to us that day it was like my son came and got to visit us again and only words could describe what her son's reaction to meet his idol in person would have been like my tony would have gotten on the bus and gone home with tony hawk <laughs> and he would have gone out there and skated with him and done the best that he could to try and show him up. Tony Gadbury may not have been there in person to witness his skateboard loving family meet Tony Hawk. But as Becky would tell you, he was there and their paths were meant to be crossed again. In Livingston, Dom Tibbetts, MTN Sports.